But let's continue. Verse number 12. And if a man lie with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion. Their blood shall be upon them. Same type of thing. Just going the other way now. Daughter-in-law. Your son's wife. That's wickedness. That's perversion. God says, no. You don't want something like that to spread. That's so bad. That's death penalty. It's, and that thought never ought to even cross your mind. Which, I mean, that's bad enough. But then, you know, to actually act on it and do something like that, God says no. And then we get to verse number 13, which, of course, drives everybody crazy these days. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And, you know, one of the things that we hear today, too, and what, or, that, I, that I hear, the comments that I get, because I, you know, I, I, I scream loudly about the sodomites, the homos, right, and, and how wicked they are, they're abominable, and that they ought to be put to death. If we had a righteous government, if we had a godly government, if we had a government that cared about God's laws, this would be the law of the land today. But then what do people say when they come and they're like, Oh, well, what about this and what about that? Well, you know what? This is, this is a great sermon for those people to listen to because I say amen to those things too. I say amen to the adulterer being put to death. Yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm not just picking and choosing. Oh, well, you just don't like us because we're different. No, I don't like you because you're involved in perversion. You're extremely abominable and wicked. And God says that what you're doing deserves a death penalty. Amen. That's why. You know, I don't like adulterers either. They're wicked crimes, and they ought to have just punishments given for the crime. People say that it's, uh, they want to say, oh, well, is it a crime to love someone? Well, it's a crime to, to do these acts, and whether or not you can understand that, I don't care. It's a, that's what God said. Just as much as a crime to commit adultery. You say, well, they're two consenting adults. They may be consenting. They're going to be consenting under the death penalty according to God's law. Verse 14, and if a man take a wife and her mother. I mean, this is, you know, a lot of these things you just, you know, I, I would think, like, why do we even have to have laws like this? But the longer we go in our society, the more I see, because people just don't get it. God has to spell it out for us. And things that ought to just be common sense and common knowledge and that shouldn't even be crossing the minds of people are listed out here and God just saying, nope, death penalty, nope, death penalty, nope, you know, a man take a wife and her mother. It is wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire, both he and they, that there be no wickedness among you. Verse 15, and if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death. You shall slay the beast. Like, I mean, it's just, it's, it, I don't know if it, could get, you know, it can't get any worse. Like, this is just so filthy and perverted. But you know what? This is what's going to be promoted also. Again, you can use the same, the same motto, love is love, right? Billy Bob loves his goat. Should we just let him get married? No big deal. Tolerance, right? Tolerate it all. Who are you to judge? Who are you to judge, huh? Yeah, you can take that on anything, right? That's how stupid it is. Who are you to judge? You know what? Who am I to judge? Nobody. Who's God to judge? God is the judge. God's already judged. Let's go off of God's judgment. He's already outlined it for us. Why don't we use this? Why don't we institute this? Now, Again, when I say, why don't we use this, I'm not saying, why don't we as a church go out and start executing judgment on people and carrying out sentences. Okay, just so I'm very clear about that. We're not, that's not what we're talking about, because that's not the context of this either. When we're setting up human government, there ought to be an execution. These are laws that ought to be put in place. And if we had a righteous government, we would do those things. And I, and I brought it up last week, so I'm not going to go too far in depth in it as far as um, the level of... of of care that goes into like a proceeding of, of being diligent to find out the facts of having the witnesses to, to even be able to execute 
a death penalty judgment upon somebody. I went over most of that last week, so I'm not going to do it again today. Um, but that applies to all of these things, right? Just want to make sure that that's well understood, that these, this isn't just vigilantism. This is what's being established as law, law and order. And this is what I believe the law and order we ought to have today.